Improvements to the Sea Roads Simulator. Sea Roads, of course, is the six region, three region or one region simulator that is a companion to En-ROADS. You can change emissions in parts of the world, see the implications. It's now consistent with the baseline and the land features that are over in the En-ROADS simulator. You want to read more about this? Go read the article that is the companion to this video. We've made changes in two big areas that you should know about. First, the baseline. Second, how we handle land and forests and the carbon cycle. I'll give you a summary here of both. The biggest change, of course, is the temperature. 3.3 degrees in 2100, not 3.6. As you'll see, this is almost entirely due to our decision to add what we call the economic damage function into sea roads. That is, as temperature goes up and we have more climate change impacts around the world, we're seeing GDP, gross world product uh, per capita, slowing in all th of the regions in the world. In the simulator, that means temperature up, gross world product growth down. Let's go see where it shows up. On the left, I'm going to go under here and go to GDP, gross world product. You can see it growing steadily over time. I'll go in here and you can see the assumption under simulation. Assumptions. Scroll down to growth. Climate change slows economic growth. The source is here. We're using the uh, estimate of the connection between temperature and gross world product growth as Burke et al. 2018 reference there. Go open it and check it out if you like. Um, by hitting this button, you can turn off that function. Watch as I turn it off. When I turn it off, the blue line departs from the black line. Without that decrease, it would be a gross world product would be higher following the blue line. If it grows more, that would mean, let me say it the other way. The impact that exists here when, we, when it's on is that as temperature goes up, gross world product grows a little more slowly, energy demand grows more slowly, burning of coal, oil, and gas grows more slowly. Therefore, emissions down from what they would have been otherwise and temperature down, not at 3.5 with it off, but 3.3 with it on. This is the impact of the damage function. There's a whole nother video in the En-ROAD section about it and some of its implications. You might want to go and check it out. I'm going to undo these changes and explore land with the global orientation where we just have one region of the world. What we've done is that we have now modeled forest land, farmland, other land, and the movements of land in between. Plus in the forest area, really explicit aging of forests through different stages of young, medium, and old, and connecting all of that to the carbon cycle. That is to the way that carbon and carbon dioxide move between atmosphere, biomass, oceans, and all of those shifts in between. The implication is that we can now track and more exactly land use emissions. I'll go to those in the top left here. You can see the graph, net emissions from land use. Several changes to this. First, it's a lot higher. Emissions in the old version of sea roads were much lower. We're now seeing and in the baseline are, is more deforestation, therefore more emissions. We've also shifted bioenergy emissions from the overall energy sector, calling it really what we think it is, is land use emissions. So it's now part of this. The other big change is that when you prevent deforestation, you're also reducing degradation of land, not just affecting the quantity 
of forest land, but its quality. Both of those things affect net emissions. Therefore, when we do make changes over in land use, such as I'll take this up to 100% of the potential to reduce deforestation, watch in the top left if we have significant reductions and there's potential to plant trees around the world and then you can get to negative land use emissions where it goes below zero and shows a significant 0.3 degree change in temperature uh, showing a little more potential uh, in uh, that sector. So that's a summary of the basic changes in the baseline and the economic damage function in land use. But we really encourage you, if you want to dig in more to any of these drivers, go look at them in En-ROAD. There are more assumptions that you can change. There are more sliders that you can change to explore what's in them and explore the articles and other videos that really complement this work with C-ROADS. It still is consistent with En-ROADS, so we hope you might be able to use them together as we often do. I hope this was helpful. Go get them.